What's up, guys? Mike Daniels here with another Minecraft episode. Um, so, I was thinking, and let's be honest, I really don't have a whole lot of opinions on this series. Uh, because, again, I'm relatively small, and any views I do get, no one comments. And that's cool, I mean, I wasn't really expecting comments and stuff, I'm still, you know, trying to at least have some sort of interaction with anyone who might watch. Um, but I, you know, I was thinking that at some point in this series I want to be able to farm stuff faster because I don't have a whole lot of time to film. And, uh, whatever was in here is not done cooking, that's cool. Um, so... Eventually, we are going to be building an AFK fish farm on this world. I know, you, for all you Minecrafters who hate them, but we are definitely going to be building one because it would make my life so much easier getting um, certain books and things that I would need for... Where is my stone chest? Uh, I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. Nope, that's gravel. Uh, um, I, I know I have a stone chest, I think. Maybe? Uh, oh. <laughs> it's this one. I just didn't have any actual spoof stone in it yet. Um, so, I, I definitely think I'm going to need an AFK fish farm for the certain things I'm going to be needing, like mending books um, and all the books. Mainly books. Books, books, books. So... Yeah, that that's going to be happening. It's not going to be happening in this episode. It'll be probably a few episodes where we get to that. Um, because I want to finish this house first before I build a facade for an AFK fish farm. So, yeah. But in this episode, we're going to finish what we started in the last one. Which was... This little room down here. Which I'm actually tremendously proud of. I think this room looks really cool. Um... The only thing I wish I would have done is given a little bit more space between the door and the stairs right here. But maybe that's something we can fix later. But, you know, right now I'm not too concerned with it. So right now what we need is going to go right here. And I'm actually probably going to put one here and one here. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But what we're going to need is a bunch of hoppers and chests and furnaces. So, I'm going to actually take this furnace down and this crafting bench down because they're going to be moved in there. And I will get with you once I have the resources that I need. So, I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. Okay, guys, we are back. And um, this is what I was talking about, about a, about a super smelter. Um, I actually didn't plan this right, but it's okay. Um... It'll be a little bit different than I had planned, but I think it'll be okay, because I can still reach that chest, and I should still, I don't know, because I was going to try to actually fit three in here, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to actually fit or reach a chest. Okay, I, can't, I still can reach a chest over there, so, yeah, um... I need more hoppers. <laughs> and, uh, like, I can put... Those are gonna go there. And then... There'll be a chest here, a chest here. And then there'll be... A chest here. A chest here. A chest here. Uh... Not like that. Like that. And then, um, hopefully there'll be hoppers, like, running down into all into this chest right here. And, um, I, I plan on covering a lot of this up eventually. Uh, just not right now, and I'm gonna have to rebuild this back in here, because it didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to actually knock this for this specific furnace right here back out. But this will kind of show you exactly what I'm kind of going for here. 
Um, like this hopper will eventually point, in, like this first off hopper that points into that hopper, so that it all kind of cycles all through into this one chest. But there'll be three smelters here. Um, I think that'll be pretty good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw coal into, well, some coal into this one and this one and then I'm just going to start smelting some iron directly out of here so that it all goes into this chest and um, yeah while I'm doing that I'm going to go kind of explore the map a little bit and look for some kelp um, and for those of you who play Minecraft you know why I'm going to go look for some kelp because I don't really want to use coal as my primary um, furnace fuel anymore because furnace fuel uh, coal is better for torches than furnace fuel now since dried kelp is now a thing so I'm gonna go do that and I will be back with you guys as soon as I get this all figured out and we'll see you in a few minutes holy crap guys I found a thing I was out looking for kelp as you can see I'm kind of exploring the outside of the map here and I saw some drowned in the water rolled the dice and holy crap we have a trident I just thought you guys need to know that, as you were. Okay, guys, we did find some kelp. Um, unfortunately, there's a bunch of drowned by it. And we also found a... Um... Hang on. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. We also found a sunken ship, and there's also an ocean monument over there, so we actually have quite a few things by our base we could make use of in the future. Um, I've never actually built a guardian farm. I'm not even sure really how they work. I know there's probably a lot of tutorials online for it. So... Eventually, we, we might build a guardian farm. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to really need one, because I don't really build with Prismarine. But it's a nice thing to know that it's there, you know? Um... But we don't really need a whole lot of kelp because we can just pretty much plant it anywhere from my understanding and it will grow naturally anywhere you really plant it. I just would like to get maybe like a stack of it, um, which so far we have pretty close to a stack. Um, there's another drowned right there. Hello, friend. There are so many drowned down here. I feel so unsafe. Oh, that one has a trident. That one has a trident. Abort mission. Abort mission. He's gonna kill me. I don't know where he went. Sorry, I'm in like full on panic mode right now. I am so far from my base. Um, and I, I really don't want to die because I really don't want to lose a lot of the stuff we just picked up. Um, <laughs> so, excuse me for being in panic mode. Because I, I really, truly am. But we'll get one more thing, I think. And then. Uh, there's really no land for me to float to either. Because nighttime is coming, so I I'm going to try to swim over whatever this landmass is right here. Because I need to sleep. I made a travel bed. And then, uh, I'll kind of show you guys what I found. I also found a treasure map, too. There's a turtle. Look at the turtle. I think it's the first turtle I've seen in, uh, Update Aquatic. We're going to sleep. Hi, Mr. Drowned. I see you down there. I hope you're not the one with the, with the uh, trident so that you don't, like, kill me whenever. Um, yeah. But. Now we duel. Now we duel! For my Final Fantasy fans out there who might actually get that reference. Um. I 
think that's that's good for kelp. I don't want to test my luck any further. So now we need to find our way back onto the map and back to our base, and um, then I'll talk a little bit more about what I want to do. Oh, I do want to check out this treasure map, though. Let's do that real quick. Let's see what this treasure map is. Um, oh, we're actually pretty close to it. A uh, fun fact about treasure maps that I learned when watching Hermitcraft. I'm not sure if they fixed this or if they did fix it, if they fixed it on the console version of Minecraft, but I know it was at one point if you didn't destroy the chest, then you could get treasure maps for the same chest. So, yeah. I'm guessing it's down and around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to give up on this uh, for right now, guys. We'll come back to it when I have a better pickaxe. So, anyway, we're going to try to find our way back to base. That was the wrong button. And, um, I will hopefully see you guys back there, as long as I'm not too terribly lost, because I'm, I'm pretty lost right now, so. Alright guys, see you back at base. Alright, we made it back alive, which is a bigger achievement than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> that was, uh, an interesting little, uh, scenario. So, alright. We got some kelp, we got some books, I got a poisonous potato, which doesn't really help me. I'm actually gonna throw that away. Um, I don't need that. A uh, couple pumpkins. Uh, there's that treasure map that we... is useless to us. A um, couple of things from sand, I got a nautilus shell, the trident's really freaking important. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away, let that iron cook so I don't stop cooking while I was out of range, and then we will come back whenever I'm ready to keep filming again, so see you in a minute, guys. Alright, guys. I just doing a quick little update here. I planted a little of the sugar cane. I found a bunch of sugar cane whenever I was um, uh, looking for that kelp. I did plant a lot of that kelp. I'm a little concerned about the kelp, though. Not because I know I'm thinking it won't grow where it's at, because I know it will, because kelp pretty much grows anywhere. But my concern is... It's far enough away from my base, I'm not sure the chunk's going to be loaded when we're running around our base. And that's a pretty big problem, because that means the kelp's not going to grow. But you can see kind of where I planted it at, and if you see the Woodland Mansion right there, uh, and you, if you watch this entire series, you know that it's... I mean, it's close to our base, but I don't know how much of that's loaded when we're at our base, because our base is right over this hill. Um, the, the positive of that, though, is I do intend to build over here still, um, part of this town or city or whatever, because I'm, I'm sure somewhere in here is going to be at least the entrance to the zombie farm. Uh, I'll have to go look at the exact quarters where the zombie farm is, but I'm pretty sure, like, because it's, unfortunately it's a zombie spawner, not a skeleton spawner, but there's a zombie farmer, or a zombie farmer, and a zombie spawner in that cave right there. So that's the cave, the cave is literally right over there that I went and dug in in that mine session where you saw the zombie spawner. So, anyway, uh, I'm not sure if that cup's gonna grow from where we're at, so we may have to rely on coal a little bit more than I'd like to. But yeah, whenever I went on that little trip, I threw all the stuff for this build in this chest so I didn't lose it um, if I died. So yeah, there's that. So now we have enough to build iron to build some more hoppers. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... We need a lot of hoppers, so... <laughs> Let's shoot for 12, see how far 12 gets us. So, okay, so I know that this hopper needs to... that needs to go to this hopper, if I can get it to work. Uh, maybe? Did that work? No, it didn't. I need another iron pickaxe. <laughs> So now that I have a pickaxe again, I can move this hopper. Let's see, now I was really hoping I can get that hopper to go. That's how I want it. Okay, so now that that's figured out. Also, is that... Oh, that chest is in the wrong spot. It's just... Okay, that makes sense. Um, 
I need to go back and grab some smooth stone too. I'm sorry guys, I forgot that I had to dig out that hole. <laughs> okay, let me grab some smooth stone to fill back in that hole that I just made. Okay, so then the last hopper is gonna go like that. That is a contraption right there, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> But the purpose of this, in case you're wondering why I need such an elaborate, like, system... Uh, can I get to that chest from here? I can't even get to that chest. Well, I can. Okay. Um, is so, like, if I have a situation where I need to cook, like, food or, like, a lot of different stacks of things, I can cook them all at once. Uh, yeah. And then they'll all show up in this chest, which... is the idea. So, and then I guess, was that all the gold that I had? I just want to make sure nothing's getting stuck anywhere. But I guess that is all the gold that I had, because I'm not seeing it anywhere else. So, fantastic. Well, then the next part of this build is going to be um, chests, actually, like right here, and right here, and right here, right here, and there should be one more right there, but, and I'm guessing it's probably nighttime by now, so I'm just going to sleep now. There's a... Oh, um... That moment when I realized I needed two more hoppers. <laughs> <An idiot. laughs> well, that's fine, because I still have the... Wow, self. There we go, two more hoppers. That's the last two we should need. And they go like that. There we go. Now they're all done. And then we have a spot for all this stuff now. So we'll throw we'll make all this for iron blocks. And then we'll throw the gold in here. And then we'll keep other valuables down here. I hope he's not like moving stuff in my base. Cause I hear him. Our bamboo is growing. Fantastic. I'm halfway trying to see like a hole in my house. Or an enderman in my house, which is not what I wanted, but he's not holding anything. I don't want him to, so we're gonna make him mad. And we're gonna fight. Where'd he go? There he is. And we died. That's our first death. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, we have a problem. Um Yep. This was a mistake. Here my cat is marking my hat. Okay. So, we just lost everything we just had on us. <laughs> Including our map. Um, so, yeah, oh boy, um, this is a tragedy, because I thought I left that bed in the basement, and I didn't, and now we have no idea where we are, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, because that's a little rage-inducing. But it was my own fault, so I can't really complain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, run around and attempt to find the base. And hopefully we find it, because I have no earthly clue where to even begin. <laughs> Man. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. Holy crap guys, I just got super lucky. Lesson learned, don't pick on the Enderman. To be fair, though, 
<laughs> he did invade my house. Holy crap. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, in that brief moment, I was like, is this series worth continuing not knowing where our base is? Like, that was... That was something else. And, you know, I think part of what happened there, um, and I'll, I'm going to be honest with you, is I typically don't play with loss of inventory and or, like, well, basically I don't play with loss of inventory on, or mob griefing, so, like, I'm not entirely sure what Enderman can pick up. So my concern with him being in my base was that he was going to start moving stuff around inside my base, and that's not what I want to happen, obviously, because, you know, that's that's just bad for me. Like, if it was, if I wasn't on camera, like, I, I don't want to waste time on this series doing things that I don't have to do, and, yeah, I, I guess part of me is just kind of like, you know, I wanted to, um, I wanted to protect my base from him destroying it and save, and wasting, you know, time, uh, rebuilding stuff that I didn't want you guys to show, or, you know, or that I didn't want to show you guys because that stuff's just boring. So, that, I mean, that's usually, and you, like I said, usually I play with my briefing off because I'm just, I just don't like the, or not mob griefing, uh, inventory loss off, because I just, I don't like the idea of losing my inventory, uh, because of reasons like that, like, you lose your base, and then you lose your map, you don't know where the hell your base is from where you spawned, and, I, I don't know, like, I, I kind of feel like, if you, like, okay, time for a ranty moment, and one of my things I really hate about Minecraft is, Yes, the bed that I, which is right here, so clearly I broke it, um, the bed that I used to sleep in to, to get rid of all the mobs before, you know, the Enderman went in my house, was, um, was destroyed. But there's still a bed right there that I've recently slept in, so I feel like it should default to the last bed you slept in, not to spawn whenever your bed's destroyed. Like, that's one thing that really irks me about Minecraft, and always has, and probably always will. I I'm not a huge fan of that mechanic, I'm just, I'm not. And that that's, that's the main reason why. So, yeah, with that said, Apparently I had two shovels on me, which is strange. I don't recall having a second shovel. Do you guys recall me having a second shovel? Because I, I don't recall having a second shovel. So anyway, guys, that's really all I wanted to do in this episode was build this monstrosity. <laughs> um, but now it's built, and I'm happy. And we didn't lose everything, which also makes me happy. So, yeah. Um... I, I guess, like, the thing is, like, I'm trying to play this straight, like, I don't really have a lot of teams in Minecraft because I don't play the, the, the vanilla way, like, the way the, like, the way the default settings, so I was kind of going to achievement hoard to an extent in this one too, but, like, and, you know, I have no problem leaving, you know, loss of inventory on and mob griefing and all that stuff, like, that's fine, I've played with it before. I'm not used to it now, but I have played with it before, so it's not like it's a whole new animal for me. It's, it's not. It's just I forget because I'm not used to playing that way. But at this point, like I, I really feel like maybe I should reset spawn to the base. And again, I, as I said at the beginning of the episode, I don't have a whole lot of viewers, so I know that there's probably going to be no feedback on this. But I kind of feel like for that situation is one of the reasons why I should. But it turns out, like, spawns, like, right over there anyway. So, I mean, I, I, I guess I, I thought I ran further from spawn whenever we started this series, but I guess I didn't. So, I, I guess it's not that far away, but at the same time, it's like, man, that, that was really upsetting. <laughs> Like, I had to censor myself, because I, I was pretty mad, so... Alright, guys, this is the real end of the episode this time, and, um... We'll see you in the next one.